Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to combine stack and cluster bar chart without changing the structure of the existing data. Firstly, select the data including the headings that we wish to stack. Go to the Insert tab. In the chart script, click on Insert Column or Bar Chart. Under the 2D column, click on Stack Column. Since I wish to group by month instead of the sales product, so let's right click the chart, select Detail, Sheet, Row or Column, and click on OK. Make some amendment if needed. For example, chart title as well as the color of the corresponding bar. Then right click the chart, click on Select Data. This time we should add the data for which we want to display by using the cluster column. For the series name, select the heading. For the series value, click on the arrow button, select the data and insert. Click on OK. OK again. Then select one of the bars, right click, click on change series chart type. Scroll and look for the series name where we wish to display the data by using cluster column. Check the secondary axis from the drop down select cluster column click on ok then select the ball again and double click for the gap width make it 0% then go to the insert tab in the illustration script select shapes we should insert two rectangles one tick and one thin select both rectangles right click look for group and group them for the tick one change the shape field to no field and for the shape outline change to no outline and for the thin one change to the desired field color as well as the desired shape outline. Next, select the shapes as a group. Press Ctrl C to copy. Move to the chart. Click on the cluster bars. Press Ctrl V to paste. The gap between the stack bar and the cluster bar depends on the thickness of the thin bar. So adjust accordingly. Lastly, if you wish to show detailed labels on this chart, click on the chart. Then click on the plus button. Check detailed labels. As we can see, the detailed labels for the cluster columns will not display correctly. Let's go to the Science and Properties script. Uncheck Resize Shape to Fit Text. Make sure we check Allow Text to Overflow Shape. Uncheck Wrap Text in Shape. And now increase the left margin accordingly until the number moves to the desired place. On the other hand, if you do not wish to show decimal places for this secondary asset, let's double click it. Scroll down and look for number. Set the decimal places be equal to zero and press on enter and we should now obtain a desired combined graph as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you